Hi everybody, it's Chandler and Sabrina from Why Not Plants, and today we're doing a sister versus sister challenge. The theme, pasta. The steaks, extremely high. The spinach, hearty and robust. Awesome. <laughs> and so me and Sabrina grew up in an Italian household, so we've been making pasta together our entire lives, but today it's all about who can make a better plant-based pasta. So what are you making? Oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be making a spicy cream sauce. So I'm gonna use Whatever kind of pepper this is. <laughs> I, yeah, I used it the other day and it was a little spicy. So I was like, all right, that sounds good. And I also have some uh, red pepper flakes. So I'm hoping those will bring out the uh, spicy flavors. All right. To make your schnoz run, you know, that's what I'm going for. It's always what you want when you eat pasta. <laughs> um, mine's going to be a buttery garlic sauce based around these beautiful heirloom cherry tomatoes. So we've got all these nice colors and I'm going to cook them until they burst and get all their yummy flavors in there. And yeah, simple sauce with some herbs, spinach, and Lots of green stuff in it. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna add a little vegan butter to the pan. Once the butter melts, I'm gonna add the garlic and warm it up in the pan. Next, I'm gonna put in all of the cherry tomatoes with some seasonings and let them cook in there until they burst open. As my tomatoes are cooking down, I'm gonna throw in a sprig of fresh rosemary and I'm gonna put some lemon zest in there as well. And then the final step for my sauce is I'm gonna add some lemon juice and then all of these chopped greens and herbs. So the first thing I'm going to add to the pot is onion, the chopped pepper, and mushrooms. Next, I'm going to add my chopped tomatoes and my uh, chopped garlic. Now that my tomatoes are starting to blister, I'm going to add Italian seasoning, tomato paste, and vegetable bouillon. Now that everything is evenly coated with my tomato paste and vegetable bouillon, I'm going to add some water to make kind of like a vegetable sauce, and then some almond milk, which is going to add that creamy texture. Now that my sauce has come to a boil, I'm going to add my pasta. This is my finished bursted cherry tomato pasta with lemon, garlic, and herbs. And this is my fettuccine crema arrabbiata, which just translates to uh, spicy cream fettuccine. <laughs> We'd love for you guys to comment down below which dish you think looks better, and we're also gonna link both of the recipes for you. And you can follow us on Instagram at whynotplants. But for now, it's pasta time.